Infection Control How Infections Occur The human body's immune system helps it to fight infections. White blood cells are very important components of this immune system and help us to protect ourselves against the germs we are exposed to every day. However, these white blood cells or neutrophils are destroyed by cancer and cancer treatment. This may result in neutropenia, meaning that there are less white blood cells to help fight infections. The weakening of the immune system makes the patient susceptible to many types of infection, which at times may be life-threatening. Signs of Infection Fever Fever is the most common sign of infection. It is important to check and maintain a proper record of the child's temperature so that an infection can be detected easily. If the child's fever is more than 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit, it is important to seek help immediately. Give the child the antibiotic prescribed by your doctor before bringing him or her to the hospital. If you are unable to reach a hospital within one hour or reside outside of the city and don't have access to a hospital, take your antibiotic letter and file and go to the local doctor for antibiotics and a CBC check immediately. If you or the local doctor have any questions, call the hospital's helpline number. Other signs of infection are Rash Red eyes Runny nose Mouth ulcers Sore throat Cough and or breathlessness Tummy upset Loose motions Vomiting nausea Pain Burning sensation while urinating. When you are discharged from the hospital and go back home, make sure consult a pediatrician and brief them about your child's case. Give them the protocol to follow as given to you by your doctor.